Let's let's take a look at the the best position on the Miami Dolphins right now, the wide receiver position. And um, sorry for the leave of absence. Like I've been battling this cold. If I sound kind of weird, my nose is like stuffed up. But uh, yeah, the Miami Dolphins wide wide receivers: Devontae Parker, Jarvis Landry, Kitty Stills, and uh, Leonte Carew. Now, I think we can all agree that's the best position on the Miami Dolphins. Uh, last year, Jarvis Landry, 94 catches, 1,136 yards, and four TDs. Devontae Parker, 56 catches, 744 yards, four TDs. Kenny Stills, 42 catches, 726 yards, nine TDs. And Leontay Carew, three catches, 29 yards, and one, one TD. Now, I like, like, me personally, I like Jarvis Landry. Everybody, everybody doesn't want to see Jarvis Landry go but when it all comes down to it, you got to look at as far as the market value for a wide receiver because we're getting close to training camp. We're getting very close to training camp, and we still haven't got any negotiations as far as a wild, uh, Jarvis Landry's contract. And what he's the, what, what Jarvis Landry wants, he wants to have an annual $12 million a year, which is about uh, $48 million in the, in the span of four years. Now, I took the liberty in actually looking at the top the top paid receivers in the league uh, compared to the middle of the pack receivers of the league and actually looking at the amount the actual number that Jarvis Landry wants and puts him in the middle of that pack and compared them to the actual receivers there now obviously the top paid receivers in the league are Julio Jones was making 71 million dollars Demarius Thomas 70 million Antonio Brown 68 million you got Des Bryant up there making 70 million but that Des Bryant he obviously ain't he ain't playing up to what the money what the money says so I'm not even gonna put put uh Des Bryant up in there but me personally I feel the fact I feel that Jarvis Landry should get something around 35 40 million 40 million the max because honestly like you look at Jarvis Landry over the past of over the course of his career which is the past four seasons he's only averaged about four touchdowns a year like I know that Jarvis Landry's been uh leading um leading him and him and him and Odell Beckham are leading the receivers from that class as far as uh receptions but um like touch, as far as the touchdowns wise Jarvis Landry's got to step up the touchdown the touchdown total because for, uh, average of four touchdowns a year is not getting it done like you really have to sit back and look at it as far as the Miami Dolphins cap space as far as values as 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 the Miami Dolphins receivers you got Jarvis Landry Devontae Parker Kenny Stills now Kenny Stills obviously just got paid 32 million dollars this past off season uh, about 32 million uh obviously well worth man scored nine touchdowns i can't complain kenny Stills takes the top off the defense you need to you need to have a safety over the top with kenny Stills on the field at all times Devontae parker his particular skill set and my it's honestly like really the most annoying thing that i hear all the time is the fact that Devontae parker has to step up Devontae parker has to step up me personally the past the past season I saw a huge improvement compared to his rookie season because his rookie season, he took plays off. He seemed a little bit lazy. I know he was hurt with the ankle injury. He he does have, he does, does have a couple of little injuries this past season, 2016 season. But still, I, I felt that Devontae Parker was productive. Uh, 56 catches, 744 yards, four touchdowns. I can't complain. It, you need to have you need to have double him all the time too because he has that ability to jump over a cornerback and take the ball take the ball at the highest point. So you look at Kenny Stills, Jarvis Landry, and Devontae Parker. You it's it's obvious that you want to keep Kenny Stills and Devontae Parker and push come to shove if we're not able to pay Jarvis Landry because of the fact that uh Jarvis like I said Jarvis Landry is a great player. He's a great player, but when it comes down to it, he's just the odd man out. And that's why I bring in Leontay Carew. We haven't really seen much from Leontay Carew, but he has like the same build as Jarvis Landry. I remember in that San Francisco 49ers game where he scored that touchdown. Like he has the strength to to uh, to break tackles and move the chains as far as a slot receiver. I like him. But uh like looking at it like middle of the pack receivers that i compared jarvis landry to if he was to actually get the 40 million dollars you got alan hearns making 40 million marvin jones making 40 million randall cobb making 40 million so if you will put i will put i will put uh jarvis landry in that in that pack with those three receivers but like anything higher than that like you look at it 
Kenny Keenan Allen for the San Diego Chargers. Well, not the San Diego Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers now. I, I can't even remember the last time I seen Keenan Allen play. Honestly, he does not deserve $45 million. Doug Baldwin, yeah, for the Seattle Seahawks, I think he does deserve $45, $46 million. Pierre Garçon just signed a new contract with the with the San Francisco 49ers, $47 million. Uh, it, it, it all comes down to market value. Honestly, it all comes down to market value. And the way I sit back and look at it, again, like I will miss Jarvis Landry. He has been the, the heart of the Miami Dolphins since he's came into the league. But I th- I feel that uh, that Jay Ajayi has taken up that role as far as the chain mover for the Miami Dolphins. So when I, when I look at it, my ultimate conclusion is that I feel that the Dolphins may either not end up paying him and may, may end up giving him the franchise tag or they may end up trading him and they, when it comes down to it. Because, hey... The odd man out here is Jarvis. I like Devontae, Kenny, and and and, and Devontae, Kenny, and Jarvis. But De- Jarvis is the odd man out. But I just wanted to put that out there for a second because of the fact when it comes down, it's a business. It's, it comes down when it's a business. And we ha- we don't have the cap space to sit back and afford all of the, uh, that huge 40, 46, $48 million contract that Jarvis wants. So um, let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry that for the long, long leave of us. I'm still trying to get over this cold for real, for real. But uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.